Hey guys, it's Nicole. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's been a minute, but here I am. Um, and in today's video, I have a Goodwill Outlet haul for you. It's been a while since I did a Goodwill Outlet haul. This is an old fashioned show you what I bought. But today at the outlet, it was crazy good. And I was like, there's no way I can't film this for YouTube. It's just too, it hasn't been this good. It wasn't the, the whole day was crazy good. It was one rotation that was good. Like one row rotated out. And then the stuff that came in was just like, whoa. It was only eight bins, but they were good. So if you're new here, welcome. Um, I am a full-time reseller and I shop at a place called the Goodwill Bins, which is the pay by the pound Goodwill outlet. And basically what you do is you dig through these giant blue bins full of different things. I personally go for the textiles, but they have hard goods and shoes and books and everything. Um, and then at the end, you push your cart up onto a big scale, they weigh it, and then you check out. So I ended up getting 69 pounds today, and my bins over 25 pounds is $1.29 a pound, which means I spent $89.01 on everything I got today. And that's just like really wild to me so um i have a lot of stuff to get through i'm gonna try and do it quickly and not hold you guys here for too long my hair is wild it is the i live in portland oregon there's a crazy heat wave and of course my ac went out so it's hot <laughs> i'm not putting makeup on um because i would melt but here we are we're gonna do it and there's no way i couldn't show you also goodwill outlet does not have ac and wow it was hot in there too. But here's this. This was literally the first item I found today. And I was like, you know what? I think it's going to be a good day. So this is just a Lulu, Lululemon tank top. Here is the little Lululemon logo. And this was in a bin that was out for a while. Um, I don't see a size tag on it. So I'm not quite sure exactly what size it is, but it's got this like really cute little layered um, looking back right there. Yeah. The tank top's always hard. Like, I don't know where they put size dots on things. Um, but I will probably put this over on, most of the stuff will go into Whatnot auction. So right now I'm selling primarily on a site or app called Whatnot, which is like a live auction site. If you guys haven't signed up for it yet, I'll put a link down below. The link will give you $10 to spend um, if you're brand new to the site. And I've been running auctions and it's been really great. I'll make another video about that at some point, but I've just been going crazy doing that. So almost all of this stuff will go into whatnot auctions in the next few days. So this is one of them. So I found that. And then this is, um, I might actually wait. I found a ton of like the same brands and I think it's always fun to show you guys all at once. This is, I also did not go through my cart. Usually I sort the cart, but there was no AC and it had to be over a hundred degrees in there. When I came out to my car, it was like 93 degrees. So inside a warehouse with no windows, none. Like there's no windows in this warehouse. It's a warehouse. Like you're in a warehouse, you're hot. It's disgusting. Um, but I found good stuff. So I didn't go through my cart and I just said, you know what? I have enough stuff in here that will cover that $90, like no issue. So there's stuff out there, redonate, no biggie. This is one of the items that I would not have picked up. This is a halogen cashmere, which is great. I love picking up halogen cashmere, but when I looked over it, it does have a couple holes and they're pretty significant holes. So I would not have bought this. Um, I will just be redonating that. Maybe a crafter or someone can use it, but that one's not for me, unfortunately. And let's see what else I found in here. So um, I got there, I went through a couple rows and then they rotated out one row and that is where I found all of the gems. I think these were in there. Um, this is a splendid extra large camo pants with new with tags, which we love. And I will definitely be putting these on whatnot. I sold these exact pants on whatnot a couple times and people seem to love them. So definitely putting those over on whatnot. Some of the stuff I don't like, I didn't even like double check because I think this is one of them. I just was like grabbing and throwing in the cart because there was just like so much good stuff in these one bins, but this is pretty, so I'm fine with it. This is a cabbie top and it is a size extra large and it's just like a gorgeous floral i don't always pick up cabbie and there was a lot of cabbie in these bins um that i passed on but i grabbed that and didn't look at the tag and i'm happy i got it because an extra large and that gorgeous floral is fine this was a chico's this was another one that i would have put back but 
that's fine. She goes size three. I'll run this on whatnot and just do it on like a dollar start day. And even if I only make two or three dollars, that's totally fine. Um, let's see here. Sorry, my water. This dress. Okay, so I found this dress. And it, it is crazy. It's like very heavy and I'm pretty sure it's homemade or like custom made, but it's a full length gown. At first I thought it was maybe like a McDougal or something, um, but I can't find a tag anywhere in it. And you can see by the way the straps are sewn on, I do think it was a custom piece. It might have been um, some sort of pageant or something like that, but it is made so incredibly well. Like there's darting in it. It's just gorgeous. It's stunning. So I'll take measurements and I will run this on whatnot. I think that I can find it a good home. So there's that big dress and this must weigh like five pounds. It is so heavy. It's heavy and it's huge. I wonder if there's any tags in the lining. I don't know. I don't know. This, I think, I don't know that this was ever like, I think this is homemade. Or even if it's not homemade, it's like custom, you know? It's insane. The, the like craftsmanship on this is just out of this world. So I'm excited about this big poofy dress. <laughs> Hopefully I'll be able to sell it for like $20, $30. That'd be great. I found this and I was kind of shocked because it was in a bin of clothes that had like clearly been out for a while and I thought something must be wrong with it, but there's nothing wrong with it. I triple checked it. It honestly looks brand new. Like there's nothing wrong with this bag. So this is a Kate Spade tote and then I was like, well, it's not made of leather or anything. Maybe it's like not, it was like a, t like a shopping bag or something, but no, I looked it up. Um, the same tote, there's tons of it, not tons, but there's a few on Poshmark and they're selling for like 50 to 100. So just this little tote is an amazing find. And I will definitely, like, is there something wrong with it? There's literally nothing wrong with this. Um, I will definitely be putting this, it seems like maybe one strap is longer than the other. Is it just like not woven as tightly anymore? Maybe that's why I got thrown back. I don't know. I'm gonna check it out and see what I can do with it. But a Kate Spade tote, which is great. I mean, even I would just use this for like the beach or something, right? This is a great, or the lake. We went to the lake this weekend. So I'm not mad about that at all. <laughs> so a little Kate Spade tote. Um, this is just a basic, but it's Knox Rose and it was an extra large and it's just a really pretty dress and pieces like this do really well and whatnot. It doesn't just have to be about the brand. The style can do good too. And extra large is a great size. So a little extra large Knox Rose dress that will definitely be going on to whatnot. Uh, this is Abercrombie Kids. It is a size 13, 14, which my daughter is in. And this is just like a really cozy cardigan. So I will see if my daughter Delilah wants that. And if not, I will sell it. This had a little oil stain on it, uh, but I am going to try and get that off because this is a Nike Tech pullover black funnel neck top. I remember seeing like a small spot on it. So I'll try and wash it out and then yeah, and put it on whatnot. And stuff like that usually does around 20 for me. So that's great. This is a Nike racerback tank. Let me try and find the top to it. And this again, whatnot, this will probably sell for 10-ish or so, but I like picking up pieces like this for my dollar start day. I do a dollar start on um, Saturday mornings where everything I run just starts at $1. So some people do get things for a dollar. Most things get run up to like five to $10, maybe some a little bit more. Um, so yeah, this will probably go for four or $5 on whatnot, which is great. I'm already at the bin, so why not? This is another kid Nike piece, but back to school is happening. So the size large, my kids would have loved to have this, but unfortunately this is no longer their size. And it's just like a little hooded Nike piece. This is the newer Nike tag. So I'm always on the lookout for that big black Nike tag. These are aloe leggings. They're an extra small and they are white. I do need to wash them. Um, I need to wash everything obviously, but look at how like cool the design is on this that reflective material i love these uh so this will definitely be a whatnot item and then i'll stop to say everything is a whatnot item <laughs> like getting mad at myself uh extra small and i love those i love aloe it's definitely one of my like favorite favorite brands to find and sell 
Um, okay, sorry, I'm making like a couple piles. This is, I was so excited. So I actually found this on my second round, that row that I told you was really good. I ended up going through it a second time and I found this the second time. And this is Frank and Eileen. And this is such a big bolo, you guys. Oh my gosh. I was like, what? And this is a shirt dress. This is a shirt dress by Frank and Eileen. Um, if I was listing this on Posh, I'd probably list it for like $75. So very excited about that one. I have to do some research on some things because there are some things I didn't know the name, the brand names, but they were in like a really good area. So I was like, hmm, I'm going to get these and then we're going to see like what they are. This is one of the items. So the tag says, oh my gosh, what does it say? It says every stitch consider made in Italy and I actually found the like matching bag to it it's gonna be hard to see it has a swoosh so it actually is Nike and it says every stitch considered on it do you see that so I don't know what this is or like if this is a Nike line that I don't know about or or what but I'll have to do some research and find out but it, it was in a bid with like a lot of other high-end stuff that I found so I grabbed it and it's just a little black top and I have to do some research, but that's the best part about the bins. It's like, it's okay if I have to do some research. <laughs> um, this is another thing. I believe this is good. A Pre's social and this is a Pre's, uh, it has like the patch on it. This is a little tote. It probably had like cool stuff in it. I have to look this up and see what this is, but something was telling me to buy it. And I usually will trust my gut when I'm at the bins. I did plan on like going through my stuff, but again, it was just so hot. I was like, no way can I stay and like, I can't, I have to get out of here. I wanted, I felt like I was going to have a heat stroke. <laughs> we have a free people sweater. I do need to walk, everything has to be walked, like I said, but this does have some spots on it, but that's not a big deal. Those should come out pretty easy. They're just surface spots. And this is just a big oversized size, large free people sweater. And large is definitely um, my best size on for reselling. These are designer pants and I probably would have sent these. Well, they're missing buttons. So these don't sell well for me, um, to be honest. But one, I would start them at a dollar, like no problem. They are designer. They're probably $500 brand new. They are Piazza Sem. Boni, I don't know how to say it. This is the brand. I believe it's an Italian brand and these are wool slacks and you can send this brand into the real real, um, which I might start looking into doing for some designer pieces. I haven't before. I've been kind of lazy about it, but I feel like maybe that's something I should start doing. What do you guys think? Does anyone sell on the real real? Like, how do you like it? Tell me. <laughs> uh, this is an Everlane dress. So this is a maxi dress. And it is a size extra large. And I just got like one of my own hairs on myself. It's a size extra large. And it honestly feels like it's brand new. And I was, again, like this was in that same row. I was freaking out. <laughs> the highs. I like have no words for how good that row is. Um, so I got that one. There's another one somewhere. This is a pair of Nike dry fit leggings in a size medium. There we go. The, oh, I didn't see this up there. But the back hem is like a little bit loose not crazy but this would definitely just be like a dollar start day they're size medium I love these when I found them because I really like this like side pocket and they're newer so I thought they were a good pickup and I didn't see that back seam but that's okay this is a free people denim skirt and just a color block denim skirt I might actually sell this one locally I sell at a little shop called Tiger's Den Vintage. I'm a vendor there and I drop about 25 to 40 pieces off every single week. So things like this, this little denim free people skirt sell really well. Smaller sizes do much better at Tiger's Den than they would um, on whatnot or uh, like online. So I love sending my like free people that are like extra smalls and smalls over to Tiger's Den. That's kind of, I know people are always like, how do you decide? I'm like, well, there's kind of an art to it and you live and you learn. <laughs> These are um, Wonder Unders. They're a size eight, they're Lululemons. 
and they need a wash and a sweater shave, but those are two things that I'm happy to do as soon as my AC is fixed. <laughs> because right now, no way am I running the washer and dryer. It is too hot. It's too hot. Uh, this was someone's go bag, and I just grabbed it. I was gonna look it up, but I did not. This is a girl size small North Face jacket. It does seem to be in great shape, and the back to school shopping is happening, so I will go ahead and run that. I was really excited about this find. This was a brand new with tags city chic dress. It still has a Nordstrom tag on the back. Retailed for, I think, over a hundred. Um, and this is a size small, but it's a vanity size small. So I believe it's actually like a 14, 16. Look at how pretty this dress is. And it still has the belt, which is a small miracle at the bins. It's just hanging on my, by one loop. But look at that beautiful floral. I'm actually gonna run this tonight on whatnot give it a good steam and you get it up. Um, I love that dress. Hopefully it will sell for around 40. And if it doesn't, I'm okay with that too. This is Habitat for Humanity. This is a lag and look brand. And this is just an extra large uh, trapeze dress, but these are really flattering on everyone. So I definitely went ahead and picked it up. It also sells really well on eBay and Poshmark. I could probably list that for 35 to 50. So one thing I'm doing right now is I'm starting my whatnot auctions a little bit higher. And um, if it doesn't sell, I do plan on listing it on Posh. So, before I was starting everything at like five, seven, eight dollars, and now I'm like starting things at ten to twenty dollars because I realize like, you know, I need to list some things on Posh. I need to find a balance, and I think that will help me find my balance and still give good deals to people. So that's what my current plan is. I could change tomorrow though by the time this video is uploaded. This is a like someone made that. This has got to be some like small business that does Disney stuff. It's on a Comfort Colors t-shirt and I recognized the poison apple immediately and then it says perfectly wicked on the back. I thought that was so cute and I have a Disney adult. I love it. Oh my god. Excuse me. That's my sneeze. It's loud. I know. Um, I have a cloth. I'm going to wipe my hands at all that stuff. It's just dusty from the bins. <laughs> also, I don't usually sleep with my window open at night and I've been sleeping with my window open. Do you guys sleep with your windows open? Because I always feel like very congested after I sleep with my window open. And I don't know if that's just like a me thing or is that everyone thing? So here we are, I'm asking the internet, pulling the internet. Thing. This one is a logo dress in a size large and it's just really cute. It's just a black like midi or maxi, I'm not sure, length dress, but the back has like a really cute little lace on it. And I was like, you know what? I like that. that it's giving me some witchy vibes and I'm gonna get it. <laughs> These are Adidas shorts in a size medium and they say Terex on them. So I'm not sure what that is. Oh wait, that's like peeling off. I'm gonna redonate them. It's like missing stuff on there. I'm not listing those. Those are getting redonated, but that's okay. I was excited about them. This is Babaton by Ritzia, and this is just a gray V-neck long sleeve um, shirt. It's just a nice little like, I would say like mid-weight cotton. We have so much good stuff in here. Oh my gosh, okay. This is a brand I need to look up but check it out. The tag looked really cool. It's H-O-H-E and it is definitely the gathering. I'm trying to like spell edit. I don't know. I have to do some research on this, but that's what the tag looks like. And this is a really pretty floral skirt that's definitely well constructed. It's a midi length with this ditzy floral on it. So I'm going to do some research on this brand as well. Like I said, there's definitely stuff I didn't know what it was in this like with all this expensive crazy stuff. So that was one of them. These are a pair of um, Zara pants, if I believe. They have this tag. I didn't realize that this tag was missing, but that's okay because typically Zara will have the um, size and all the info on these big, huge tags. <laughs> so it'll have like a style number. It will have, oh no, this is Forever 21 actually. Okay, okay. 
Well, you know what, Forever 21, you're looking cute. They're probably a small. And I just thought they were really fun. I wanted to take them to Tiger's Den, but they don't have the size tag. So they have to have a size tag to go there. And they're just little flares. So I will probably still sell those. I'll just put them on my not. So I think they're cute. I think someone needs them. Um, okay, let me grab another bag and pull it over. Two more Ikea bags, guys. <laughs> so much good stuff. Okay, this was in with the fancy stuff. This is a Ted Baker. Look, a Ted Baker embroidered sweater with the collar. Oh my gosh. Hi, I'm really cute in this. And it's a size six, which is like an extra large or extra extra large. So amazing size, perfect condition. When I say I was freaking out, I was definitely having a moment. Like, oh my gosh, I can't believe I'm finding all this stuff. This is free people, we the free. It's a size of small. It looks like a large, but it's a small. And it is just a little fun waffle knit thermal oversized shirt. It has some detailing that will be, Free People is like one of my top brands on whatnot. This is the brand Fate. And this is just a chunky knit sweater. Love that, so pretty. One of my other favorite finds is this. And this is an Everlane dress in a size large. And it is brown corduroy. It's a full maxi dress. And it's like tiered and so cool and pretty. And I'm definitely running her tonight. And I can't wait to see how she does because just wow, that's like a fantastic dress. I thought this was Barefoot Dreams and I didn't have time to like double check, like I said, um, because it definitely feels like Barefoot Dreams, but it happens to be Jessica Simpson. I'm still gonna run it. I'm definitely going to um, run it because it's so soft and so cool. And it's a size medium. So I can run this on like dollar days or I'm doing morning shows now and I'm trying to run like cozy morning stuff. So list it on one of those days. This is a Nike running shirt, but I think this is for the New York marathon. So this is New York city. And then it has like all this stuff on the back. So I'm going to look it up. And this one is a size extra small. Do some research on that one. This is another gorgeous piece. This is a Walter Baker extra large ribbed maxi dress in brown. Hi. Oh my God. I love this person's wardrobe, you guys. The fabric is really soft. Where are you? Acrylic nylon spandex. And it has the style and everything in it. But just a really pretty Walter Baker dress. I grabbed this and I was like, what is this? Like is cool and I didn't even like I would have never thought that it was polo Ralph Lauren but that's what it is so this is a polo Ralph Lauren like purple satin skirt hold on um the cool thing about it is like it has this really fun belt and then it has a cargo pocket right there it's a midi length and I think that this will do really well I think this is a newer polo tag and I think, I'm trying to figure out like exactly how it goes. Oh, like this, like this, see? Really pretty skirt, right? What a fun like fall pop of color in that jewel tone. Yes. <laughs> what are you? Are you like a jumpsuit of some sort? This is a jumpsuit, but let's figure out who made it. That's the thing about the bins that you kind of just like lose track of everything like I don't remember basically anything I bought I remember a few things but I don't remember you just lose track of everything I don't know like who makes this but I must have seen it I doubt I would have like put it in my cart it feels really nice how is there no tag on this it feels like it's Dois or one of those types of brands based on the fabric but I'll do some research I'm sure there's a tag in here somewhere I'll find it and then I'll let you know uh, this is a Nike piece. This is Nike. I think this is a youth extra large. I might actually give it to my children. And it is the SB, I believe, skateboarding one, maybe? It's cool though. Look at that um, cool graphic on the front. We have more, look at it. This was just like a pile. I didn't even unpile it. It's still stuck together from being donated. 
like it still folded together and I was like grabbing there was other people there and I just wanted to make sure I got the stuff uh so a J Crew shirt J Crew long sleeve a newer like burnout shirt an extra large and then another J Crew extra large this is men's oh uh, this has some um color transfer on it I'll probably redonate that and then this last one is a Nike Golf in an extra large men's shirt. So I have some men's pieces. Okay, I'll take it. That's exciting. We have a uh, Jason Wu dress. Boom. Little floral. Isn't this pretty with that gathered waist right there? It doesn't look, it's not going to look as good on the hanger as it would a person, but a little Jason Wu number. Not that. Mm -mm telling you, you guys today was wild like <laughs> I'm still coming down from the craziness I need to look up this brand but it did have it, it's um like European in sizing and it looked pretty fancy it's called key c-a-m-a-i-e-u and they're linen shorts with a tie waist then we have this is a striped waffle knit from uh, DNC. I didn't mean this is a donate. This is a brand I don't buy. DNC active extra large. So that was one of the things I would have put back, but worth it not to have a heat stroke. This is a black shirt of some sort. Oh, I'm gonna save it. You guys are gonna freak out. Hold on. I'm going to show that all at once because there's so many of the same pieces. And then this is a tag cutout shirt, but I think it goes with this. Hold on. Hold on. Champion athletic little baby blue crew neck sweatshirt. Hi. We love that. This is a dress, I believe, or a shirt from um, Unity World Wear. It's an extra large, and I just thought it was so Pretty. I don't always pick up this brand, but it's like very boho. And I was like, you know what? I'm also looking at style for whatnot. It's an extra large. It's really pretty. I will run that on dollar day and someone will be so happy with that. So grab that one. A little J Crew, I believe it's a little J Crew cardigan. Yeah. And an extra large olive green and white stripe. And then the pop of pink on the bottom. Hello. Um, let's see here. What are you? This is a Kalia sports bra, which is Carrie Underwood's athletic wear line. That is the logo for it. And this is just a teal sports bra. I do really well with this stuff and whatnot. Um, probably be able to sell this for $15, $20. Another kid's jacket. This is a Columbia extra large kid's rain jacket if my daughter wore purple i would give her this but she will not it is in literal perfect condition and back to school is right around the corner so i'm definitely thinking about stuff like that we have a little free people tank top this one's an extra small might take it over to tiger's den because it's a really cute little gauzy intimately free people baby doll tank top mm -hmm. little cutie patootie right there is this another one? It is. Oh my God. I can't believe how much of this one brand I found. Okay. This is the first thing I was, so I was standing at the bin and they rolled this out. And this is the first tag I saw before I could even dig. Hi, APC. That's when I was like, uh Oh, it's going to be good. And then it was uh, a little APC size, large tank top. You know, this probably, this little tank top was just like $200 brand new. No big deal. No big deal. This was the other item I pulled out without even like looking at it, but I saw, I saw this, this like chain stitching of Ed SW, which is Nike sportswear. And I knew this was a newer Nike piece. It is a size large and it has the color block right there. Um, I think this is a men's large and it's so cool. Maybe a woman's actually. I'll pull the style number and figure it out, but this will do great on whatnot. A little sweater from Urban Outfitters, a size large, and it's just a leopard print crew neck sweater. Couldn't pass that guy up. And then I have one more bag and the best stuff is coming. I'm so mad at myself. 
I put this hat on because I was bringing stuff in from the car and I like pulled this really hard and I broke the string, you guys. I literally just broke the string. This is all my fault. And I wanted this for myself, but, um, so that's fine. But this is a San Diego sun hat, still brand new with the tags and it's UPF 50. This is a great like river or lake hat, which we've been going to often this summer. So I was really excited to have it. And then I broke it. I think I can glue it back together or I'll just tape it. I don't care. I'm going to keep it. But this hat was probably 60 to a hundred dollars and it's UPF. So I was thrilled to find that for me because I burn really easily. Does anyone else just like have really crazy white skin and burn super fast or is it just me? This is a O L S E L L E, which is an athletic wear brand. And this is a racer back tank top. I don't find this brand very often anymore. I feel like I used to find it a lot. And I know that the name of it is the name of these birds, right? I just can't, I don't know how to pronounce it. And I don't want to like butcher it, but it says fly on the back and it's so cute and I love it. And I think someone else will love it too. These are pain. No, 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 no. This is a North Face men's extra, extra large hooded long sleeve top like a Henley, it has a snap. So like this would be good for like a lightweight pullover or whatever you want to do with it. But I was definitely not going to leave behind a little North Face piece. This is new at Tags, it's from Topshop and it's a US 8, but I just saw it has some like, someone spilled something on it, which is a bummer because we love a new at Tags, but I don't know. Might try and do it on dollar day because it is new tags and just see if someone wants it for like a craft project, but that's a bummer. I hate when that happens. Okay. Is this this? Where am I? Oh, why do I have this behind me? This is Everlane, another Everlane piece in a size small. And this is just a little chunky sweater, like an oatmeal cardigan. And I loved it. I can't believe I found three Everlane pieces. That never happens to me. Like good ones, you know? This is Spirit House, which I've never heard of before, but I really loved it. It's like a gauzy top. It has a little oil stain. We'll put some um, Dawn dish soap on that to get that out. But I thought this was made really well. And I was like, okay, I'm going to look up that brand and see what it is. This is another one. This is um, Camp Hollyhock, which is a children's brand. And if I remember correctly... There it is, Camp Hollyhock. This is a great brand. I do have to do some research on it, but I felt like it was good. And I'll look it up. Um, this one's a piranha and just a pullover funnel neck oatmeal top. And this is that. Abercrombie and Finch. And this is a chambray button down shirt and an extra small or it's a half button pullover shirt, really cute. This I grabbed because I saw the tag was Bravito, which they make uh, like reproduction band shirts and they do really well. And then I was excited because it was Ramones and I love the Ramones. I've been listening to the Ramones for a long time. I actually met Marky Ramone, who um, is a drum, was the drummer of Ramones. He wasn't like the original, uh, I'm not gonna get into the details anyway. I had a boyfriend in high school and then in my early, we were like on and off forever. My point is I had a boyfriend in a band that was signed to like a punk rock record label and they would play with all these like big bands and, um, and we would get like invited to parties and stuff. So we got invited and we were like backstage with like Marky Ramone and all of these big punk people, the misfits. And I've like, I got to hang out with them. My point is that's me when I was younger, I was cool and I hung out with cool bands and um, Marky Ramon ended up coming to like Denny's with me and hanging out and eating with me and my ex. That's my story. That's my Ramones claim to fame. Okay, maybe I'll tell that to people on one. <laughs> Does anyone care? I highly doubt it. I highly, I'm not that cool anymore. I'm really not. I was at one time. And maybe my kids will think I'm cool again one day, but today I'm just mom. Uh, look at this dress. I don't even know who makes this dress. I was just in love with it. <laughs> it reminded me of self-portrait. And I was like, I have to get you. Oh, here's the tag. Mad for love. 
Mad for Love. I feel like I couldn't find this tag when I was there, but I don't even care about it. It's just based on style. It's a size large and it's just cute. It's just cute, you guys. Uh, 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 a pair of Levi's joggers in a size 22. So just black Levi's pull on jogger pants. And then Montu, which is like a boutique brand. But look at this beautiful floral dress. I thought this was perfect for like a fall transition dress. And it does have like the wooden style buttons down the front. Midi length. I can see it with like one of those big vet like felt hats. And I can, I see it. I see the girl wearing that and I like her. And I'm excited to sell her that. <laughs> Okay, um, Vici, which is another blogger favorite brand, a size large. Ooh, I might have to keep this. This is kind of like a sexy off the shoulder. Mm -mm -mm. Bay delicious, and it's really long. Tunic, ooh, I might keep this. Wear it with Paris Banks. Call it a day. We'll see. This is a white denim jacket. This one is 1901, which is a Nordstrom house brand. It's just a white denim jacket in perfect condition. And that's a staple wardrobe piece. So I grabbed that one. We have a hoodie, a hoodie from Young, Fabulous and Broke. This is like a brand sold at Nordstrom's and other places, but the cut, hold on. You guys gotta see the cut of this hoodie. It's so good. It's like a big oversized cropped hoodie. I love with this thing. I'm excited. I'll definitely um, find a stock photo for it. Okay, let's see. Hold. Do, 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 do. I grabbed this Super Mario Brothers shirt. It is Uniqlo Super Mario Brothers. And I just, you know, it brought back a lot of memories because this is all we had. I remember when Super or not, our Super Nintendo came out. Like I remember when the console came out, my sister had a regular Nintendo and I ended up getting a Super Nintendo and I thought it was so cool. This is a size small and just a pocket tee. And I had to get it, okay? Look, sometimes you just have to get things. I got a Michael Jackson Thriller t-shirt, it's a band t-shirt in a size medium. And then I got a pair of shorts. These are made well. These are the perfect jean short in a size 29. And here they are, little cut off high rise, perfect jean shorts. Those are, those like that style is really great over like a one piece when you're going. I'm obviously going to the river and lake a lot right now. <laughs> this is a skirt from Grady Lynn, which is a higher end brand. And this is just a silk pull on skirt. This is a vintage dress, which I don't know anything about. It's by Peggy Hunt. I'm gonna ask, I'm gonna call a friend and ask Kayla Hazelheart's Vintage or Caddy Bridges Erica, my two literal like best friends, um, and see if they can tell me more about it. Cause they, it's funny. Two of my like very best friends in the world are vintage sellers. And I'm like the one who doesn't do vintage. But then I find things like this. <laughs> And sometimes I just trade. So like Erica will go to the bins and find me things and I will find things like this and we'll trade because I really have no business selling this, <laughs> but I can't leave it behind in the same breath. Look, it's so cute. So, um, I don't, I, who knows? I'll figure that out. This is a bra and I knew it was a high end brand. It's fall sweet. Uh, there's the tag and I still love selling bras. I have a whole bucket of bras to list on Poshmark. So I will add that to my bucket of bras. This is a, um, puppy dog shirt from the mountain. My kids love wearing these. Delilah like wears them almost every day. She might steal this from me or I might sell it one off. But look at that face. I think he's a lab, right? So the mountain, they make those like really cool graphic tees. This dress is so pretty. It's Betsy Johnson and it's a mesh like overlay with like little polka dots, halter top. So pretty. Betsy Johnson and she's a size eight. Another Knox Rose extra extra large shirt. But again, I just liked. So I grabbed that. Oh my gosh. I'm almost to showing you guys like the crazy stuff I found. Oh, we're almost there. We're almost there. Okay, this is a, uh, this is sold at Anthro, but it's also just its own brand and you can find it at like boutiques and stuff. It's Dolan. This is a 2X. 
shirt, little tie-dye shirt. Like, where do I grab from? I don't know the brand of this, but it is a haul, like a, a workout bra, foam, F-O-R-M-E, for me, for me. It looked fancy. Do you guys know it? I took a chance. I took a chance and I grabbed it. This is the little logo. And then here's the back. So another like took a chance. Hopefully it's a good. Bum, 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 bum. Hollister jeans. These are just Hollister black jeans. They are the slim straight 31-32s. A top of some sort. Oh, spiritual gangster. And it says, I just need you and some sunshine. How cute. Yes. And a dress from Glamorous uh, Curve. I don't always pick up this brand, but this is new with tags. It was a size 18. And it's just like a gorgeous orange button down like shirt dress, maxi length. And I love finding like bigger sizes that are cute and trendy. And I don't always find them. So when I do, Especially if they're new with tags. I don't always care about the brand. I just grab them. Okay. Now, on to this. Okay, this is like the not that exciting. Oh, well, it's exciting, but I don't know why I kept it back here because I found a couple pieces of it, I guess. Uh, icebreaker size large pants. Hi. It is missing the drawstring, but I don't necessarily care about that because it is an elastic waist. These retail for probably $200. The resale value on these is crazy. I will have to like triple check that there's no holes, but they are joggers and they're large. And I might just list those over on Poshmark for $100, 75, because they're missing a drawstring. And then I did find two um, icebreaker bras as well. So I found the black one in a large. And then I also found the same one in red in a large. So little Razorback bras, and these ones sell so well for me. I would list this on Poshmark today for $30, and it would probably be gone by tomorrow. Love finding that brand. Oh, this is a Lululemon bra. It's a size 12, and it's just a white Lululemon bra. So not mad about that. Uh, Costa Bella, one of my favorite, favorite bra brands to sell. Size medium mesh bra. This I would list probably for $30 to $40. And then in the bra department, you guys, I also found a Tommy John. I'm going to try this on. Tommy John makes like the best. This is all my husband will wear, like men's underwear wise. Um, and this is a little bra. And I was so excited. I have a pair of their pajama pants. It's like the softest material. That's the logo. If you see it, buy it. That's what I have to say about that. And then I found four spank or Skims bras, four of them, four Skims bras. All that bra stuff was in like one pile in that same row. Sometimes you just hit the right row. Then they're all like extra large. Or no, this one's Spanx, sorry. This one's a Spanx extra large bra. And then we have the Skims. And I think I have a, some more somewhere. Um, this is a large Skims and another Spanx and then another Skims skims in a size extra large little mesh bra I think that I might have more that fell out like in the car or something I feel like I had four skims but maybe I thought the sphinx for skims this was the second item that I found in that row that I was talking about I found the APC and then I found this it's a newer St. John's piece in an extra large yeah, I was like having a moment. So a little St. John's top. But then look at this St. John's sweater. This is St. John's extra large. <gasps> Hi. It's so soft. I'm pretty sure it's cashmere. Let's double check. Um, 83% cashmere and then a cotton blend. Just like mint condition. I don't know who this lady was that donated all of her stuff, but I love her. And I'm so grateful that I was here for that rotation because all it took was that one rotation for me to just like have this day. And I don't know when a day like this will happen again, but you have to keep going back to the bins and hoping that it does. And there was a lot of competition. There was a girl there that I know and I love her and she was like also finding all the good stuff and I'm glad that she was finding it too. 
Um, so I wasn't like the only one who was getting all this stuff. Like there was a, it was packed. There was a lot of competition and I try not to think about the things that I missed because I will eat you alive. <laughs> it really will. I really will, you guys. Um, okay. And then the rest of this, what was this? This is all Eileen Fisher. All of it. Let me count. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten pieces of Eileen from like basic white long sleeve tops. All extra large or large. All extra large. Mostly extra large, some large. Um, from basic long sleeve tops to like there's a black long sleeve top and then like this gorgeous Eileen sweater or is this like a scarf I don't know so then Eileen Fisher extra large oh it's like a hooded vest like an open knit hooded vest uh I can't wait to sell these a silk button down blouse in a large and a shirt dress i believe i don't know no maybe just a shirt button down like cotton black shirt uh, i believe this is eileen it was like with all that stuff i'm gonna try and figure that out um a blue long sleeve shirt a red dress in a size large so like a red trapeze style dress and another shirt so all of those get this and then I have these three pieces from Lafayette 148 which isn't like my favorite brand to find by any means it's like very hit or miss so one that one and then this really fun like geometric blouse and an extra large here's the kicker this is a $529 Lafayette 148 dress and it's actually really cool it's like a linen shirt dress i would absolutely wear this um like even as like a pool cover but not for a hundred you know not for 528 dollars but that's how much this was it still is a tag so someone bought this there's no like clearance tag or anything on this 528 dollars i paid like a dollar for it so now you guys know why i had to show you this haul because i paid 89 dollars for all of it you guys what a fantastic day. So I'm going to get some of this prepared and sorted and washed and cleaned and all that good stuff. Um, and then I'm going to start listing it on to whatnot. So make sure that you guys come and hang out at my auctions. They've been really fun. You can definitely get steals and deals. And this is like, this shirt is too big for me. I'm losing weight, like not on purpose. Um, and all my clothes are getting too big. Good thing I shop all the time. Um, my point is, I'm excited to get this stuff going. I haven't had such a good bins day in a long time. I've actually like kind of avoided going to bins because it hasn't been great. So today gave me a lot of hope that things will pick up. We'll see. I'm going to keep going. I'm going to keep shopping and listening and fingers crossed the bins keep giving like this because that would be wonderful. Um, it's always hit and miss. Not every day is amazing, but when it is amazing, I definitely have to share with you guys. So thanks for hanging out. Use my link down below. Come hang out with me on Whatnot. It's really fun. We have a great time. And I will see you guys again very soon with a new video. Thanks, everyone. Bye.